Alright guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to Silas's Meow Plays story event. Um, ignore the fact that I've clearly already read through chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, totally didn't have to record this again because of uh, recording issues. But yeah, very excited. Uh, we're going to just jump right into it and uh, get more Kitty Silas in our life. I hope Silas didn't level the cafe in a fit of rage while I was away. Concerned, I rushed back to the cafe, only to be greeted by cries from help from it inside. What's all this noise? <laughs> I just love how he's always... He's just in a state of annoyment. He's like, I am so done with this shit. I push the door open and see Silas holding a struggling kitty in his left hand and nail clippers in his right. Are you going to keep watching or give me a hand? <laughs> Did you always serve them like this while I'm away? While we talk, the kitty wriggles free and dashes into the group of agitated kitties, all hissing and growling. Today, five kittens got their teeth brushed and eight of them had their nails clipped. Sounds like a productive ass day if you ask me, dang! These kittens are scared and very angry at this caracal butler. Together, they're hurling insults at him. <laughs> And he seems extremely unbothered by those said insults. <laughs> what? Silas? I'm listening, kitten. <laughs> You're really good at making enemies, huh? Now, if you keep this up, the kitties might make you serve even longer. Hmm. Everything I do is for their health. Who knew they'd be so ungrateful? He's not wrong, you know. That stuff is important. I sacrificed myself and <laughs> suffered for these cats. Isn't that noble of me? I, I think it is, because let's be real. When a cat does not want their nails clipped, they'll let you know. <laughs> they let you know. I don't believe a single word of Silas's sacrifice talk. I mean, girl, have you ever tried brushing a kitty's teeth? Have you ever tried clipping claws? That is hard. Seems to me, you just find a way to annoy them. <laughs> Never mind. Winning over kitties isn't really Silas's thing. I sit down next to Silas, sighing and rubbing his cat ears without thinking too much about it. <laughs> just, out of, <laughs> just out of habit. Well, are you satisfied? Eh, a little. <laughs> I clear my throat and let go of Silas's ears. <laughs> With that attitude, aren't you worried about having cat ears forever? They're fine. And you just can't keep your hands off of them, kitten. <laughs> He's like, I don't really care. It just, it just means you keep touching me. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, hey, if that means you can't keep your hands off me, I won't complain. <sighs> You're not wrong. But you have an important business deal to discuss soon. Are you hoping you'll show up with cat ears and tail? I'm okay with that. Silas shrugs nonchalantly, lounging on the couch and removing cat hair from his clothes. I'm working hard, aren't I? Clipping nails, brushing teeth, cleaning ears. I'd say he is. Honestly, the man deserves... Ooh. At least a couple golden stickers. Hell, maybe even a, a scented banana sticker. <laughs> and I have to figure out how to clean their tear stains and dirty chins. <laughs> He's like, my job never ends. <laughs> <sighs> it's exhausting. Aww. Just let me bring you into my soft bosom then, sir. <laughs> Please, come rest your weary self onto my soft bosom, sir. I will play with your kitty ears and you can relax on my boobas. <laughs> ah, 
shameless, but come on. <laughs> come on! Such a good opportunity. Before I can say more, Silas drops the nail clippers and leads me out casually. Let's call it a day and continue my butler duties tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, I'm clocking out for the night. The street at night is quiet and the moon sits in the sky. Cool moonlight spills onto me and Silas. I need to lift this cat curse soon. If Silas keeps hanging out at that cafe, someone might recognize him. Are you planning to sneak me into the Hunters Association tonight? <laughs> huh? I realized I went the wrong way. Before I can turn around, something warm and fuzzy is shoved into my palm. Hold on tight. <laughs> And don't get lost again. <laughs> he, he, he's letting us hold his tail! <laughs> huh? Oh. Hold it nicely, don't squeeze. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, I would die! The next morning, I open the cafe's door with a perfect plan in mind. Oh. Oh, is he singing? That is his I am humming a tune face. Because <laughs> that's the animation they use when he's singing. They got this man singing? Silas, I figured it out. Silas leans lazily on the counter, poking at Kitty's forehead. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> My pet care specialist said that proper grooming can improve a cat's health. And helping a cat clean the areas they can't reach often makes them feel affectionate and close to you. How about we learn the proper way and start a cat beauty salon? Silas takes away a kitty that is biting his finger like a chew toy. <laughs> you are very sharp, Miss Hunter, coming up with such a perfect plan overnight. Yeah, we're smarticles like that. But, considering my reputation with the kitties, getting them excited about being beautified might be a challenge. <laughs> Silas, do you know what your best trait is today? Silas looks up and raises an eyebrow, his cat ears twitching. Self-awareness. <laughs> exactly. Self-awareness. <laughs> <laughs> I already thought about everything you said, so I went ahead and signed us up at a learning center before I even got here. Let's get going. There's a lot of stuff to go over, so we need to learn and practice as much as we can today. I reach out to tug Silas, but he doesn't move. I'm tired and don't feel like going. <laughs> He's like, I am a lazy cat today. Meh. <laughs> Meh. The day's only just begun. How could you feel tired already? Someone's been all about these messy little creatures. <laughs> Didn't you hear me say I was exhausted yesterday? This is true. MC, did we not give him bosom cuddles? Girl, 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 girl. <laughs> like, ah! The missed opportunities! I pause, recalling he did mention it. Then you take a rest, and I'll go first. Silas gives me a blank stare, then stoically gets up and drags me out of the cafe. He's like, ugh, fine. Lead the way. <laughs> Change your mind? I just want to check out this learning center you found. See if they really teach you how to take care of cats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Learning Center is actually a top-rated pet store near my place. When we tell them why we're here, the pet care specialist eagerly teaches us how to soothe cats. A cat's ear canal is very fragile, so be gentle when you clean it. 
Seeing the cat staying still from the specialist, I grumbled to Silas. How come their cats are so well behaved? Because the feisty ones won't be brought out for a demonstration. Fair. <laughs> Fair. But they also, they exist. Far and few between, but they exist. The good ones. Says who? I brought you here, didn't I? <laughs> Damn, MC. She's like, I brought you out to the public space, didn't I? <laughs> Silas gives me a light glance. I ignore his look and pretend to focus on learning. He's like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. After the ear drops, massage the base of the ear to help the solution get deep into the ear canal. If the cat resists, hold them gently in your arms. <laughs> gently. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Gently, as if they're not trying to tear your flesh from your bone to escape from you. The specialist carefully explains how to clean tear stains and chins, and even shows us how to brush their teeth. This kitty is very sweet. Try brushing its teeth, and you can always ask me for help. Let's split the task. I'll hold it still, and you handle the rest. <laughs> Silas indifferently pokes the cat's face and gives it an order. Hey, little one. Cooperate. <laughs> Be gentle. It can sense your attitude. <sighs> Make sure you hold it firmly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks to the teaching assistant's tameness, or perhaps Silas's charisma, the cleaning goes smoothly. You're doing great. The cleaning was thorough, and the kitten was docile. I told you we'd be fine, Silas. You... I turn around and see Silas has wandered off to the shelf, examining something. Cute cat collars and headbands are displayed on the shelf. He picks up a cat headband and holds it up to my head, smirking with raised eyebrows. They all seem to suit you. <laughs> he wants us to be a kitty. <laughs> I can be your kitty. <laughs> really? Let me see. Instead of taking the headband, I pick up a black collar and pretend to put it around Silas's neck. Cat ears, a cat tail, <laughs> and now a collar. <laughs> I tug on the <laughs> leash. Please, I love it! We love putting this man on a leash. <laughs> I feel like there have been a couple of times we've specifically put this man on a leash. Or at least wanted to put a collar around him. <laughs> Silas, you're a good cat. <laughs> Silas leans in, eyes narrowed. No, I'm a bad cat. Always ready to betray my caretaker. Make sure that collar is tight around my neck. If you want me to behave, <laughs> never let go. Okay. After learning all the knowledge we can, I decide to practice before opening the cat beauty salon just to be safe. Sensing my intense gaze, Silas looks over. Why are you staring at me? Because you're pretty. Because <laughs> you're so dang cute. The real test is coming, and I feel underprepared. Since you've got cat ears now, can I practice on you? <laughs> you're actually treating me like a cat. I just, oh my god, I love his. <laughs> are you for real? <laughs> are, you, are you friggin' serious right now? I cradle Silas's face between my palms. Oh my god. With cat ears and tail, what else could you be? No way. 
<laughs> Unhand me, woman. <laughs> Unhand me. To lift the curse sooner, you have to do this. <laughs> Eventually, Silas gives in, and I pin him down on my lap, his cat ears within reach. Hulk. <laughs> the ears feel amazingly soft and bouncy. Taking advantage in broad daylight, Miss Caretaker. <laughs> Guilty. I let go of Silas's cat ears and apply the eardrops. But underestimating him, Silas is no tame kitty. As soon as the drops go in, Silas shakes them all out. Silas! I <laughs> loop Silas watches my frustration. He would enjoy this so much. He's such a brat. <laughs> he, he's got an inner brat to him. I think that's why he likes it when MC tries to tame him. <laughs> Those cats won't be cooperative either. This is good practice for you. Mm-hmm. If the cat resists, hold them gently in your arms. Since you refuse to cooperate, I'll have to get tough. I reach out to Silas, ready to restrain him with my arms and legs. God damn, girl. But Silas knows what I was up to. He pins down my legs as soon as I land. <laughs> Trying brute force? Might work on those fur balls, but not me. <laughs> Silas, let go. Wanna keep going? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this man's a wrestler. <laughs> you know he is. You know he's a wrestler. He's a tussler. He likes a good tussle. <laughs> okay, I'm also trying to think. How are they positioned? Because I figured he had, like, his hands and legs on the floor. And he put his head in her lap. Kind of thing. So was she freaking trying to frustrate him? Was she trying to, like, wrap her legs around his torso? Like, girl! Of course. Oh, okay. If I can't touch his ears, at least I can brush his tail, right? As soon as Silas releases me, I grab his tail and yank it. Your tail's in my hands now. Be a good cat, or else. I want to yank it again, but I hesitate, not wanting to hurt him. Or else what? <laughs> Well, I'm doing this to help reduce your penalty. Would you be a good boy and cooperate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he liked it. He liked us calling him a good boy. I brushed Silas's tail carefully, but accidentally touched the base of it. Uh oh. Yes, this is how you thank me for cooperating. <laughs> Was I too rough? Did I pull your fur? His tail, once docile, suddenly sweeps a cushion off the couch like a whip. What was that for? You scared the kitties. I pat his tail, not noticing Silas' subtle change in expression. But the tail calms down, letting me brush it from one end to the end. And done. That's a wrap. Thanks for cooperating, Mr. Cat. <sighs> Oh, he grumpy. As I clean the comb, Silas's tail suddenly wraps itself around my wrist. What's wrong? Did you just hit me? Twice. What? That was barely a pat. Are you really going to make a big deal out of this? I raise my hand in a stop gesture, but his tail pulls my hand to its base. I, I blink and look up, but Silas turns to the window, leaving me with an indifferent profile. He's all grumpy. Just 
hey, you want more pets? Oh, <laughs> he's like, no, I won't say it. I won't say I want her to pet me more. <laughs> so his face shows a rare awkwardness. So I lean in closer and unexpectedly meet his gaze. Where's my tree? <laughs> Isn't there a reward for being cooperative? <laughs> Would cat treats work? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, sir. Let me see. Oh, as I think about what to reward him with, the tail that's been in my hands wraps around my waist. <laughs> Silas moves closer and rests his chin on my shoulders, his nose brushing against my neck, leaving a lingering warmth. <laughs> Whatever. Consider it a uh, mental uh, treat. <laughs> this man getting his dose of pheromones, huh? <laughs> okay. As I step out of Meow's Cafe, night has already fallen, and so many stores on the street are closed. Why are they all closed? I haven't bought all the materials. Do I really have to wait another day? I look at Silas's cat ears and tail, deciding to act quickly, searching on my phone for any open stores. Don't even bother. Silas leans down, his slender fingers taking my phone away, tossing it from his left hand to his right like a cat playing with a ball. He proceeds to speak mysteriously. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to my surprise, Silas leads me to his gem vault. The interior isn't brightly lit, but still illuminated by dazzling and colorful gems. Are you thinking of bribing the kitties with these gems? What food might work better? Maybe they'll like it. Maybe. Silas sifts through the mountain like pile of gems, picking out the ones he likes. Okay. We just acted like the random pile of gems is just kind of whatever. Probably not worth thousands of dollars. What? Give me your hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. Soon, Silas places a hollow ball made of cat eye gems in my palm. Hold it. Can't bribe the kitties, so you're bribing me instead. I'll say, I'll say some good things about you to them. <laughs> Look at the wall. The light refracted from the ball of cat eye gems scatters, landing on us. Silas extends his finger, gently nudging the hollow ball in my palm, the light spots shifting with his finger's movement. It's like a multicolored light ball, but a super luxurious version. Even the slightest of movements makes the light change. Isn't this the best cat toy? You know Take whatever he's... you need, and make as many as you want. You know this man had been thinking about that. Like, the fact that he instantly knew to bring us here. You knew he was like, damn. Those would actually be pretty sick. <laughs> That's quite generous. Silas keeps selecting gems and crystals while making seemingly casual remarks. Since these fur balls are in my care, I'll whet their appetites using my own methods. <laughs> Get them addicted to the finer things of life. Once desire corrupts them, even innocent cats might become cold-blooded beasts. <laughs> what? what? Silas, what? <laughs> like beasts with bellies so full that they wobble with every step? Or brains that get dizzy from chasing their own tails, thinking it's prey? Admit it, you're spoiling them. You're very chatty today, kitten. Uh, I guess you're not tired enough. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> so 
The kitties are very fond of their new toys, such as the Ruby Scratching Board, Pinkish Purple Crystal Scratcher, and Cat Eye Gems Light Ball. Ruby Scratching Board? What? <laughs> Compared to the lively playing area, the Cat Beauty Salon that needs me and Silas's hands-on service is quite empty. <laughs> They're like, they don't, they don't want our services. Eh. <laughs> Where are we going? Silas stands at the door and points to the empty cat beauty salon. They can clean their fur, but not their ears and chins, right? The techniques you learned will come in handy soon. <laughs> They've had a lot of fun. It's time for something else. Oh. I knew you trimmed their nails just to upset them. As we enter the self-service area, Silas frowns and sniffs the air. That one seems easy to deal with. With Silas taking the lead, we quickly kidnap Happy Kitty. <laughs> They're just going in and just snatching the cats. They're like, all right, your turn. <laughs> You're up. Just a bit of black gunk on the chin. Everything else is fine. The kitty whines in protest as soon as Silas wets its chin with warm water. It'll just be a minute. If we don't clean your chin, you'll lose all your fur there. <coughs> but talking doesn't calm the kitty. It struggles more fiercely, splashing water on my face. Unbelievable. Fooled me with its cute looks. This is a real troublemaker. Silas, as if prepared, whips out a krill cake like magic. You want some? Oh, he's like, I know what keeps these guys happy. <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> as, it, ooh, as the grumbling kitty gets ready to eat, Silas takes his hand away and the kitty lunches at nothing. <laughs> if you want treats, behave. I don't accept bad deals. <laughs> Somehow, Silas already has krill cakes, catnip, water, and cat grass lollipops at hand. Cat grass lollipops? What? Okay. The poor kitty gets tricked by a seasoned grunt man. Stop feeling sorry. Give me a hand. <laughs> Under Silas's gentle message, the troublemaking kitty quickly gives in. We finish grooming it while it smells the nearby treats. Here, krill cake. <laughs> the kitty bounds off with the cake. Luckily, our learning paid off, and we built some rapport. To keep our rapport, let's kidnap another cat. <laughs> Don't let their looks fool you this time, kid. <laughs> He's like, all right, do it again. We finally finished with all the kitties at the cafe by dusk. The setting sun's glow pours in through the floor to ceiling windows like melted sweet cream. We're done. Congratulations. The kittens are very satisfied with your hard work today. They even started to grow on you. Woohoo! And they hope we can continue this next month. The uh. Continue. Uh. Don't even think about it. <laughs> He's like, fuck so that. So that cat curse, when can it be lifted? <laughs> Why does Silas appear a bit restless? You've won all the kitties over with your excellent technique. It's normal for them to want some more. <sighs> Wait. <laughs> we missed one. Oh. How? I counted them one by one. I ask for the list from the auto manager to show Silas. No one missed, all checked. Before I finish, I'm wrapped in a familiar warm embrace. Oh. The list slips from my hands. Silas holds me tight. Restless, he slightly flicks his tail. What's wrong? Is this a side effect of the cat curse? Come on. 
I can't resist touching his forehead, and as soon as I do, Silas instinctively no! <laughs> nuzzles my palm. Okay. <laughs> Silas? <laughs> you didn't let me finish earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. The one you missed is me. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Just so you know, you smell like you've been bathed in catnip. Uh huh? To give the kitties the best experience, the cat beauty salon is filled with catnip fresheners. After a whole day here, I'm no different from a walking catnip dispenser. <laughs> Silas's long, soft cat ears brush against my neck and cheeks his breath. He breathes in my scent, sounding a bit unsteady. Should I go home and shower first? Let... <sighs> it's been a long day. Let me recharge. Okay. Sir, take all the time you need. Holding me, Silas eases himself into a more comfortable position on the couch with his warm breath tenderly falling on my cheek. It feels like a warm, quiet space is carved out here. The big tail gently pats my waist. <laughs> my eyelids grow heavy. Okay. I'll recharge too. Good, good call. Right before I fall asleep, I hear Silas's soft chuckle. <laughs> this is the exclusive sleep aid service for my caretaker. Don't forget to leave a five star rating, kitten. No problem. <laughs> no problem. As dusk thickens, the kitties cuddle and rest their heads against each other, ready for sweet dreams. No, I need more. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Ah, that one was so good. <laughs> that one was so good. Oh my god. <sighs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 5 stars. Amazing. Would definitely come again. <laughs> oh, but alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction as much as I did. <laughs> if you did like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube if you want more content such as this. Also, if you ever want to catch me live, I do stream on YouTube and Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. But alright guys, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and I hope to see you later. Bye!